Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 5. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Aram, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him Yahuwah had given deliverance unto Aram. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Aramim had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Yashadael a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's woman. And she said unto her mistress, Would to Elohim, my lord, were with the prophet that is in Shomoron, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Yashadael. And the king of Aram said, Go to, go, and I will send a sefer unto the king of Yashadael. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the sefer to the king of Yashadael, saying, now, when this sefer is come unto you, behold, I have therewith sent Eth Naaman, my servant, to you, that you may recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, when the king of Yashadael had read Eth the sefer, that he rent his clothes and said, Am I Elohim to kill and to make alive that this man sends unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeks a quarrel against me. And it was so, when Elisha, the man of Elohim, had heard that the king of Yashadael had rent at his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore have you rent your clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Yashadael. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariots and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in the Yardan seven times, and your flesh shall come again to you, and you shall be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of Yahuwah Elohayu, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Parpar rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Yashadael? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near and spoke unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid you do some great thing, would you have not done it? How much rather than when he says to you, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped himself, seven times in the Yardan, according to the saying of the man of Elohim. And his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of Elohim, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know that there is no Elohim in all the earth, but in Yashadael. Now, therefore, I pray you, take a blessing of your servant. But he said, As Yahuwah lives before whom I stand, I will receive none. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. And Naaman said, Shall there not then, I pray you, be given to your servant two mules' burden of earth? For your servant will henceforth Offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other Elohim, but unto Yahuwah. 
In this thing, Yahuwah, pardon your servant, that when my master goes into the house of Rimon to worship there, and he leans on my hand, and I bow myself in the house of Rimon, when I bow down myself in the house of Rimon, Yahuwah, pardon your servant in this thing. And he said unto him, Go in peace. So he departed from him a little, little way. But Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of Elohim, said, Behold, my master has spared Ath Naaman this Arami uh, in not receiving at his hands Ath that which he brought. But as Yahweh lives, I will run after him and take somewhat of him. So Gehazi followed after Naaman, and when Naaman saw him running after him, he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me, saying, Behold, even now there have come to me from Mount Ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray you, a talent of silver and two changes of garments. And Naaman said, Be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bore them before him. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house, and he let Eth the men go, and they departed. But he went in and stood before his master, and Elisha said unto him, Whence come you, Gehazi? And he said, Your servant went nowhere. And he said unto him, Went not my heart with you, when the man turned again from his chariot to meet you? Is it a time to receive eth the money, and to receive garments, and olive yards, and vineyards, and sheep, and oxen, and men servants, and maid servants? The leprosy thereof, rather therefore of Naaman, shall cleave unto you, and unto your seed for ever. And he went out from his presence a leper, as white as snow.